Evening, guys. How you all doing out there? Right, I'm under a promise to show several project chainsaws which I've had lots of requests recently from people about um, project saws or saws that are in a certain condition and they could put their own put their own stamp on them so to speak and finish them off and so I've brought out a few tonight and we're going to go through them in batches because I don't have the time to do them and even though they've just been hung up for me and I think they're beautiful they probably need several jobs doing to them and most of my time is going to be spent on you know the earlier 1960s 70s British saws when I get the time and so so I've got a selection of steels out this evening, MS260, and so these are ferocious creatures. So what did I sell the other day? One of my uh, 026s went, the red lever, and that was again was a project saw. I think that was, was that the one that scored on the cylinder? I think. So, and the 26 was from early 90s, running a 44mm piston. So this is her newer her newer sister then. This is the MS260. Spectacular reputation these saws and some differences as well. Um, real tasteful differences but strangely the capacity only went up by so the old 26 was running a 44mm piston the 24 behind me is running a 42 and the MS260s went to a unusual 44.7 so Whereas the 26 was a, what were they, just under 49 cc's, 48.7. Um, this girl just goes over the 50 cc. I don't think they're 51.2. Are they 50.2? I think they're 50.2. So just making an extra one and a half cc's, something like that. And so real tractable engine, high head speed, high RPM. And I can't think what the 26 was running. I think it's almost identical format as well. So this is running 325 pitch. This is an 18 inch genuine steel rollermatic bar, lovely condition. 1.6 gauge, professional saw, excellent chain brake. Um, uses the uprated elastic start system, if you like that. Has the quick release fuel in oil caps and makes, I think it still makes on paper 2.6 kilowatts, somewhere around there. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that as well, the difference, I think the difference on the, the chain cover as well compared to the 24 is spectacular. So this series of saws has between the guide bar nuts the chain adjuster screw. And so instead of trying to struggle, I know it is not a regular job, but instead of you know struggling with the screwdriver butted up against the side of the guide bar trying to tension the chain, you simply fold it together and then you just have the outboard screw and it just I can't, once, you, once you've seen it running in operation and used it, you start to wonder why not every single saw is adjusted that way. Um, yeah, why on earth aren't they all adjusted like that? So, spectacular chain break. So this girl's um, nicer condition than the other 26. She is um, genuine all round. Has, let's make sure that's off. Fantastic compression engine and excellent chain brake. I'm pretty sure that's, yep, yeah, they are so pro saw, adjustable oiler, felling spike present, no brakes anywhere around the chassis that I can see. And so it's simply going up as a project saw just because she's um, not stripped down, haven't taken apart the engine, the head, clutch hasn't been off, haven't taken off the flywheel, haven't, um, haven't even stripped the pull cord. So just completely genuine. So I think these started life in, oh, when they, not quite 10 years after the 26. I think 2001, I think, is Steele's official figure. And then I think 10 years later, the 261, which I think replaced this girl, that started in 2011. I think that then had a, a horsepower boost, a three horsepower. So it'd be interesting to know, actually, if any of you know what the exact horsepower figures or the kilowatt output is for this engine, I can't imagine it's the same as her older sister. So decompression valve on top, um, serial number badge present, chain brake excellent. Let me show this girl runs. So she's purely spares a repair, starts factory, needles are set to factory, like I say nothing's disassembled, 
um, and if she sits there for enough time on low idle she sounds like she either she's runs a tad rich or maybe she's likes to run on slightly at slightly higher RPM and I mean slightly and makes me think maybe she's either needing a carb service or perhaps she's got a tiny air leak so let me show you how she runs it's a no, no, that's a beautiful engine, all original plastics. was running a little bit a little bit lumpier than that not lumpier just a little bit less even and just maybe there you go so we'll still idle upside down and just the tick over is just not as fat as you would probably expect it so the carb settings are on one in one factory and um, what has she had she had a new filter when she was hanging up and she's had a new plug um, so other than that, that's how she is. Completely, completely genuine. All steel plastics, um, engine not taken apart, the exhaust is immaculate, um, with steel screws, haven't taken the exhaust off, excellent compression, decompression valves working. Um, so genuine steel chain, and I she's sharp, she kind of feels sharp, has you know maybe 25% tooth life left, and well, she's not cut with, so she's just, she's just immaculate. 80 mounts feel, feel pretty good. It's late. Let's take a disc. Okay. What we'll do with the helmet? Helmet. Okay. But yeah, if anybody's got actual HP figures for the MS260 then, as opposed to the Red Lever 26, I'd love to hear that, to see, um, to hear... How much extra power she makes or whether or not it's identical. Um, okay, we've got a little bit of ash, we've got some willow and some hazel. Let's just take uh, take a couple of discs.
Oh, there you guys, so it actually cuts beautiful. Um, why all that time on the shelf, and that's the first disc I've ever taken with her. Um, crazy, isn't it? So cuts, cuts absolutely beautifully. What's that? Oh, hey. Only relatively small timber. It's very late tonight. It's at about seven inches across, eight inches across. Um, so that's the MS260. So project saw, yes, but running beautifully, runs upside down, ticks over upside down, starts factory, um, nothing broken that I can see, just you know the normal marks wear and tear. Beautiful side cover, um, no handle wrap as such, obviously at this stage they're a, a nice molded handle and there you go, just a nice genuine MS260. So hopefully an amazing project saw for somebody. So that's project saw one. Right, this is one of her, same person in fact, this is the, um, one of my 024 wood bosses, another one, have several, and again, this saw is, as far as I know, in gorgeous condition all around, even nicer than the MS260, obviously an earlier saw, the 24, so just, um, this is the original wood boss, so making just under 42 cc's, and fitted with a beautiful bar which is yep that's a good question is that a 15 what's that one there that's a so i think that's a 15 um what else she fitted with so when i put her on the shelf again just for view um this one has a brand new Brand new full chisel chain, same spec again as her, as her bigger sister then, 325, 1.6 gauge, and I don't believe there are adjustable chain oilers on the 24, and chain tensioner, back into the conventional spot, same chain brake mechanism, um, the MS260 quick release fuel tank and oil caps, conventional screwed on this girl, um, exhaust excellent again I believe I did check the piston on this when when she came in whenever that was and has um, excellent excellent compression again and uh, and again untouched so clutch has not been off no disassembly chain break handle hasn't been off flywheel's not been off the pull start housing's not been taken apart, disassembled or rebuilt, um, all completely genuine. Steel plastics all round, I believe it's complete steel piston and cylinder. So again, just a real genuine saw and not stripped apart. So, um, let me show you how this girl runs. And almost, I think, identical to the, almost identical to the, to the MS260, just not serviced and just probably just wants a nice service. <laughs>
She just runs, uh, again I'm pretty sure she's on the factory needle settings, one in one, it's not stripped apart and so it's exactly as is and is a um, beautiful starting engine, lovely at the very top end, beautiful, both are fantastic and no brakes, AB really really tight on this model, gorgeous plastics all the way around, lovely side cover on this one as well, even the steel black paint just beautiful just that low down running just a thick tiny bit thicker and a bit heavier after she's running so um, yeah obviously on I presume that's on the carburetor again she's just not stripped down and I just have so many other saws to work on <laughs> Disc with this one. <laughs> Put that there. Let's uh oh, right. right. Got some willow, some hazel. Just put just two or three discs through her. time she's got with brand new chain and beautiful beautiful one of my beautiful polished bars um, yeah so beautiful at the top end just low down just needs looking at whatever servicing um, she requires for that um, so I doubt it's uh, I think this one she seems to run heavy low down which makes me think you know it's just um, a carburetor service <laughs> So that's the 024 Wood Boss, and again, she is just a gorgeous, gorgeous cosmetic example. Um, so that's an amazing project saw for somebody to work on, and this is definitely the right time for working on your log store, isn't it? The weather's just changed to that point where it's just great to be outside cutting and nights are longer, we can just fit a bit more in. Just fantastic. And then lastly, well, oh, well, I should have several more out, but I'll do this one, the last one tonight is really getting very dark. So this is a, a one of the little well, not quite top handle. The slightly bigger brother to the 009. The beautiful 009. One of my, well, my favourite baby steel saw, in fact. Um, so, this is the 011 AV. So, anti vive EQ, the electronic quick stop. And so, this girl then is the 009 is 36 bore, 36 stroke, 36.6 cc's. And this girl runs a. Well, several things we'll mention about the uh, the 11s, which is really interesting. Is this girl runs a 38 mil piston, 36 mil stroke, so just over 41 cc's. 
and when you look at it, 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 it seems like it's a much bigger saw than the 009, but, but strangely, this side cover is interchangeable with the 009. Um, <laughs> it's got a difference on the, I think it's the exhaust outlet, where there's a, a moulded section on the 009 which directs the exhaust fumes a slightly different way, but actually the covers interchange, and other than this uh, moulding on the back for the rear handle, there are so many parts are interchangeable, as with the flywheel, etc., caps, and the rest, the footprint's identical. So, this girl's a project saw. She arrived in. Um, I was going to use her, or going to do this girl up. I think this came in maybe about a year and a half or two years ago, and it was the cleanest. She's absolutely gorgeous. It was the cleanest 11 that I'd seen for sale. And didn't do anything with it, and then when I looked at her about, i to say six months ago, or maybe it was less or more, who knows. Um, it's got excellent compression engine, and I clicked old guide bars, and I thought, well, I have a guide bar for this, and I thought I'm going to take a look at it. So when I took this girl um, apart, the clutch was loose inside, and I some people are strange, so the seller never said, and, um, which, is, which is really strange. But um, So this girl is spares a repair because the end of the clutch, or the end of the crankshaft, which has about, oh, is it eight mil of thread? So there's two or three threads left here then. The end of the, of the crank with the threaded section to thread the clutch on is broken off. Now... I did read somewhere that that can be that can be fixed, but so that kind of stopped me in my tracks with this girl. Um, so other than that, she looks fantastic. But there you go, she has damage to the end of the end of the crankshaft, and so the rest of her might be spectacular for parts for somebody. So she's going up as a part saw just because um, there's no fuel in her. I don't think. Um, got an excellent spark and she um don't think there's no there's no fuel in her otherwise um I could have primed her and uh, no no fuel but got an excellent spark lovely compression so there you go so she could be an amazing project saw if you either want great crankcases want another oil pump handle assembly top cover the chain brake excellent the chain brake housing is excellent so and so the clutch is present or the yep the um, clutch drum is present and and interestingly the little baby stub of threads which is snapped off so I don't know I, if love to hear guys if any of you know a way to actually repair that and I did read somewhere how that was possible but that's eluding me now, so I'd love to hear if any of you've had any experience of of the threaded portions of the crankshaft breaking off and you've managed to fix it or taken it somewhere and they've managed to do something with it. No, he isn't. That's the little that's the little zero one one. Um, absolutely complete, lovely crankshaft damage. Seven or eight mil, maybe a centimeter of thread is gone. Um, still a tiny threaded portion left, but there you go. Um, I think the ball bearing, yeah, the needle bearing is missing for the clutch. But other than that, she's complete. Right, guys. Thanks for watching. There was more source to show, but we're going to do that in an earlier time. Take care. Bye for now.